Hey, I'm Summer Bryan. And I'm Avery Tate. Welcome back to this week's edition of WGHS. Avery, I think I'm going to try and go for this six-year Rotary Scholar. Good luck with that. I've barely made two. Carol Trent can tell us more about the hard work that goes into being a six-year Rotary Scholar. The Rotary Scholars program here at Tupelo High School is highly competitive among students. Every year, the Rotary Club of Tupelo recognizes the top 30 students in grades 7th through 12th for being the best of their class for that school year. The most desired part of this program is the six-year Rotary Scholar Award. These are the students that have excelled all through middle school and high school to receive Rotary every year. I spoke with two THS students to see how their hard work has paid off over these six years. It's really nice to be a six-year Rotary Scholar. I think I've worked hard for it and it, it's just really nice to be recognized for all the hard work that we do and stuff. It feels pretty good to be a six-year Rotary Scholar. I mean, I've just put in a lot of work. I think being involved in stuff, especially clubs and like extracurriculars, motivates you to work harder in class. With all the extracurricular activities I have to do in Tupelo Boys, I mean, it was a little hard to balance between my uh, studies and uh, all the things I'm involved with with school, but uh, I was able to do it. The Rotary Scholars Luncheon will be held Monday, April 29th. WTHS News, Carol Trent Embler. Well, it looks like a lot of hard work goes into that kind of accomplishment. You know, it also takes a lot of hard work, earning a Lindy Callahan Scholarship. Luke Everton recently received this prestigious award. I received the Lindy Callahan Scholar Athlete Scholarship, and basically they select 16 athletes in the state of Mississippi, and we go to a luncheon in Jackson and receive our scholarship. Luke was the only one to receive this award from THS. Students are chosen for this scholarship for their academic accomplishments as well as their participation in high school athletics. Luke says this is a great honor. And I just told him how honored I was to be selected because only 16 people get selected. Congratulations to Luke Overton on his scholarship. Academics are cool and all, but I plan on earning my scholarship another way. How's that? Singing. Vocal Jazz recently won an award in San Antonio at the World Strides competition. Erin Ruth can tell us more. Thanks Summer and Avery, I'm Erin Ruth Waters. Vocal Jazz competed two weeks ago in San Antonio, Texas. When the sun shines, we'll shine together. Told you I'll be here forever. Said I'll always be your friend. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella. They share their reflections and achievements from this event. So I won the Best Beatboxer Award and I felt good whenever I won it. I didn't know what I won at first. I was sitting away with the group, but then they told me and I was really excited after that. So in two choirs, we got first place and then in one we got second place. It was really good. We sang against a lot of people, but I feel like we came up top. It was really fun. Um, whenever we went, we didn't know exactly how it was going to go. Uh, everything was very like sketchy going into it, but we came through and finished well. We stayed in hotels and we got exhausted and we sang a lot of really good music. We had a really fun experience. All of us worked together really well and we're a pretty cohesive, cohesive unit. So we had fun. We had fun at all the theme parks. They also share with me some of the pieces they performed. The Vocal Jazz Home Show will be on May 2nd and 3rd. Congratulations. I'm Erin Ruth Waters, WTHS News. Hey Summer, have you heard of our graduates number? You mean 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd? Probably, I don't know. It's Mall Day again this week in chemistry, and the festivities have just begun. Well, for Mall Day, we had to pick 10 activities to do. I chose to make a shirt, a flyer, and I also brought good foods and sweets. We do Mall Day problems, and we also get to do a lab. All the chemistry classes are participating in Mall Day, and the different activities are for a major grade for each of the students. Kids have to make t-shirts, posters, and mall-themed food to celebrate Avogadro's number. Hey Avery, what do you think I should wear tomorrow? Something with a raincoat. Will and Lexi can tell us how the weather's going to be next week. Thanks Summer and Avery. You might want to wear your rain boots as well. For the next two days, there will be a chance of rain with a temperature drop on Friday. Then on Sunday and Monday, it will dry up with highs in the upper 70s and lows in the upper 50s. Tuesday through Thursday, there will be 50% chance of scattered thunderstorms with the highs in the 70s and lows in the 60s. 
So when you go out and support your softball team tonight and baseball team this weekend, be sure to bring your rain boots. And have a great Easter weekend. Well, the weather seems like it won't be that great. Oh man, and it's almost Easter. The special needs students even painted Easter eggs last Friday. This past week, Miss Boyer's career pathway class helped dye Easter eggs with the special needs students. They used shaving cream and food coloring to dye the eggs. I wish I were painting Easter eggs right now. Thinking about Easter eggs makes me hungry. Well, National Technical Honor Society has been working with food a lot recently. They've been donating items to the food pantry here and working there for the past week. The new club at Tupelo wants to be as active as possible. The stock pantry allows students to grab needed essentials every Friday. Have you thanked your teacher yet? Have I what? Thanked your teacher. It's about to be National Teacher Appreciation Week. It's from May 6th to May 10th. The Preservation Society plans on making cards for each teacher and assistant at Tupelo High School. The Preservation Society is a card making club. We make cards for people, whether it's like kids from La Bonner or old people or teachers at this point. We're gathering all the members for the Teacher Appreciation Week to make cards for them. And there's about 200 teachers at this school and we're trying our best to get all the members to cooperate. I'll go back and thank all my old teachers. Seeing my old teachers makes me super nostalgic. You know who's really feeling the nostalgia right now? Seniors. Let's go to our senior poll. How ready to graduate are you? Not at all. Not ready. I'm very ready. I'm very ready to graduate. I'm kind of ready. I'm actually kind of sad about it, but I'm ready to move on, you know. What about you? I'm very ready. I'm ready to graduate. Okay. <laughs> What's one thing you want to do before you graduate? Senior skip day. I want to do the uh, the uh, backpack run to the, with the senior boys to the senior parking lot. That'd be cool. Hopefully win another state championship. We'll see. Um, I want to go take pictures on the field in my senior jersey. Yeah, same here. <laughs> Work at the hospital. Win a state championship in baseball. Where are you going to college? I'm going to Ole Miss. University of Arkansas. Uh, University of Alabama. Mississippi State. University of Mississippi. Uh, I'm going to ICC to play soccer. Senior poll? I prefer senior night. Let's go to sports and see how senior night for baseball and softball went. Thanks, Summer and Avery. I'm Paris. And I'm Laza. Welcome back to this week's sports media. Both the softball and baseball teams held their senior night. This past week, seniors Bryant Morgan, Gabriel Strickland, Will Davis and Jack Brister were recognized for their hard work and achievements over the past four years. Also, the Diamond Girl seniors were recognized for their hard work throughout the season. Also, the softball team recognized their seniors Abby Watts, KK Ivy, Tay Rand, Kylie Ray, and Riley Chapman. They received flowers from teammates as they reflected on their past years on the team. We wish the best of luck to our seniors on the baseball and softball team next year. Our very own Bryant Morgan was selected to play in the All-Star Game. Every year, baseball players all across the state are selected to play in the 2019 6A Crossroads Diamond Club DM Howie All-Star Baseball Game. Bryant Morgan was selected as catcher from our very own Tupelo baseball team. The games will be played on Friday, June 7th on the campus of William Carey University in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. How have you prepared from baseball to allow you to get this opportunity? Uh, I guess just doing all the little things right. You know, they say if you treat the game right, it treats you right. And I mean, look what happened. Why do you think you were named the All-Star over every other catcher in the state? You know, honestly, I just squared that ball in my mitt and squared it with my bat. And they say if you do that, you got a good chance of being selected. The golf team isn't Tiger Woods, and they're not playing in the Masters, but they did play in regionals earlier this week. Let's check in with Anna Grace to get the full story. The THS golf team is off to a great start this season. The boys were just named 6A regional champions after their tournament Monday afternoon. The boys came in second place to Germantown at the Big Blue at Lake Caroline. Boys also came in second at the MSU Invitational. The boys and girls both won Tupelo Invitational. It's been pretty good. We've been just practicing a lot and getting some good competitive rounds in and hopefully shooting some low scores. Um, I think we have a pretty good chance at State because we've just been putting all this time and effort in and hopefully we'll just come full circle and we could hopefully win. Boys share their excitement after this huge win. I mean, it felt pretty good, but uh, we're going to have to play a little bit better in state because the competition is going to be a little harder. Um, I got solo medalist, but uh, at the end of the day, that really doesn't matter too much. It really just matters, you know, what the team does. 
The girls have been preparing this week for regionals. We've been working on our weakest parts of our games and playing a lot to build up our momentum. I think we'll do pretty good because it's at the Tupelo Country Club and we always do well there. Let's wish good luck to both the boys and girls teams as they continue their season. This is Anna Grace Wise, WTHS. Also, congrats to all the teams competing at the regional meet. We'll have the results for you next week. Back to you on the studio. All those coaches must be busy with all this stuff going on. There are a few coaches we're forgetting about. And who's that? The career coaches. Kat can tell us more about what they do in this week's edition of Discovering Tupelo. Thanks, Summer and Avery. 13 years of school helps prepare us for our future, especially with the help of career coaches. Here at Tupelo, Ms. Golding and Ms. Lunsford help provide students with information on future career paths. So our role here has been very, very instrumental in the progress of how it's been this year. It's been an awesome year. We've done great things. We've adventured in different avenues of the workforce, bringing them into the school settings and linking students with jobs, with internships, with shadowing. So this has been a great year for the career coaches here. The target was for us to start with 10th graders, but when we jumped on board in the fall of this year, we found that juniors and seniors were the ones that were most actively seeking help because their time was at hand. You can see either coach in a building to receive a code for your U Science Aptitude Test. It gives each student a visual on their unique qualities and options for job opportunities based on their specific personality. Another part, a gift from Toyota, was at Christmas they presented uh, our three Pontotoc Union Lee counties with a $15,000 aptitude test called U Science. It's a 90 minute test that does not have to be taken all at one time. It produces a great, um, just a great informative result package for the student. While not every school has the benefit of having a career coach, Ms. Golding believes that they should. I truly think every school should have a career coach, even down to the elementary school because if you start them early on a path, regardless of which way they want to go, they can shadow different areas and figure out early on in life what they want to do with their life. Having us here has been very instrumental and I think every school would benefit from having a career coach. If you're not sure about what comes after high school for you or would like to shadow a future job, be sure to go visit Ms. Lunsford and Ms. Golding in A Building. I'm Kat Knight, WTHS News. I've really been craving some good reality TV. Good thing this week's creative is the last episode of The Lab. Do you want the rest of these burgers? Yes, I do! <laughs> Stop! Everybody always takes everything that I bring to school. Like the other day, they all took my sweet tarts. What did you get? What did you get? <laughs> 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 Wait, I got one, I got one, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, uh, <laughs> 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 she wanna, she wanna give me any sleep? There's literally five left in here, and I've eaten. I've only had like 20. <laughs> Have y'all seen Bryant and Will's hair? Like, Bryant looks like Jack Frost and Will looks like Jimmy Neutron. Trip hat is like gold. Oh. Where's the girl who used to be? Will? I told my daughter. Everyone's just all on me about my hair. I mean, it's for baseball playoffs. We're a team. We're coming together. But at now, I just can't keep getting compared to everything. Like, everyone. It makes me mad. Yes, I do. I can read it. Yeah. Yes, it, it is uploading on Thursday. So we're finishing Wednesday. Why does everyone keep their secrets from me? Have y'all seen Massey? We always catch her doing the weirdest things. <laughs> I just, this is crisp apple. I'm just kidding. It's basically spicy apple. You hate. Her crazy. I thought it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. The first round. Friday, Saturday. Oh, did you get the first round? Oh, did you get the first round? Oh, did you get the first round? Brian is just so lazy. Every time you ask him to do something, he always rolls his eyes. 
He never gets anything done. And half the time, he's sleeping on the couch. I was forced to do this, but thanks for watching this episode of The Lab. <laughs> this has been a really busy week. Make sure to tune in next week to hear about the color run and spring football. And if you're also looking to join the swim team, charts are on April the 23rd. See y'all next time!